A good year and a half after the last Windows Phone flagship, Microsoft is finally ready to disrupt the iOS and Android status quo. And it enters the arena with not one, but two challengers, the reasonably sized Lumia 950 and the phablet-sized Lumia 950 XL. Designing the two Lumias, Microsoft went for an understated simple look and matte materials. There are hardly any distinguishing design features on either one of the phones. The front is completely flat and free of any keys. The matte back is removable as is the battery. You can expand the built-in 32GB storage with a microSD card too. Microsoft also offers the two flagships as dual SIM models for extra flexibility. The two Lumias use the reversible USB Type-C port that allows fast charging and they also come with Qi wireless charging support. What's missing is a fingerprint reader, but then there's Windows Hello, an iris scanner which can be used to unlock any of the two phones just by looking at them. Hello works flawlessly in dim light, but it's generally not as fast as a fingerprint reader and it may have issues if you're wearing glasses. The displays on the two Lumia phones share the resolution and AMOLED technology but come in different sizes. The smaller 950 uses a 5.2 inch unit of Quad HD resolution, while the XL has a towering 5.7 incher. Both displays are extremely sharp and offer calibrated color rendition and stellar contrast. They can also get quite bright under strong light, so they are completely usable outdoors. Windows 10 Mobile is premiering on the Lumia 950 and 950 XL. The interface has seen some changes, but it is mostly a refinement of the good old apps as tiles UI approach. The app switcher looks the same as on Windows 10, and there is a UI mode for single-handed use. The OS claim for fame is the excellent Skype, OneDrive and Office integration, though we were hard-pressed to find anything you can't get on other platforms just by downloading the respective apps. Windows 10 Continuum is a unique feature that allows you to connect a keyboard, a mouse and an external monitor to your Lumia phone so you could run all phone apps on the bigger screen. And Reality Continuum isn't much more than a fancy TV out interface. There's no mouse right-click, no proper multitasking, and the phone sure can't run Windows apps. There isn't even a proper desktop populated by app icons. Granted, Continuum is a nice way of checking your email or web browsing on a bigger screen using only your phone. Editing Office apps this way has its benefits as well. However, it's hardly any better than the now discontinued Windows RT, which didn't get any traction due to its inability to run proper Windows apps. Speaking of apps, running Windows 10 Mobile on any of the two phones was a snappy experience despite the fact that these two come equipped with two different Snapdragon chipsets. Our battery test showed that both Lumia phones have battery life as their weakest spot. They scored slightly less than average and even though calling, browsing and video watching is all good, it's the standby battery draw that brings the ratings down. The two Lumia phones come with identical 20 megapixel cameras that have wide field of view, bright apertures, optical image stabilization and triple LED flash units. Microsoft has nailed it with the camera performance and both phones deliver superb imaging and video. Photos come out sharp and colors are punchy while noise is low and the dynamic range is surprisingly good for a phone. Processing is also mature and there is no oversaturating or over sharpening at all. If a great camera is a requirement, you can count on either of the two Lumia phones to deliver. The Lumia 950 Duo are the first flagship smartphones by Microsoft and a great first step. Nokia's excellent imaging and display pedigree is all there and we enjoyed every bit of it. The hardware is superb, but software is clearly as important to Microsoft. They would go out of their way to show you that it isn't just another mobile OS, it's Windows 10, like the one on your PC. Microsoft should perhaps work a bit on pricing to make these phones more attractive in an attempt to win over the needed critical mass of users to spur development effort for its mobile OS. The Lumia 950 and 950 XL are without a doubt two great smartphones to have. We look forward to seeing more added value from the fact that they run Windows 10 Mobile. Perhaps Microsoft still has to figure that part out, but even as things are right now, you can easily find us grinning happily whenever we go out taking pictures and video with any of these beautiful new phones. As always, you can read all detailed test findings in our full review over at gsmarina.com.